Good morning. I hope I find you in good health and well. It's 9.30 in the morning and I've already gotten 16 emails in my inbox. And that's not counting the spam in my spam folder. Now, to have a functional inbox, I need to pay attention to each of these 16 emails that are there. Whether I should throw them in the trash or read them or act on and act on them or mark them for acting on later, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I remember the days when there was no spam folder and every day was a battle. Lots of junk email asking for my attention. Click here, click there. And I was really wondering, do computers really save me time or do they take up too much of my time? It's gotten a lot better since the arrival of the spam filter. Wouldn't you agree? You know, every day we are involved in a battle. A battle every bit as vital as the fight against the invisible virus that we are up against right now. A, ba a battle every bit as vital. And uh, that battle is just as invisible. And unless we are on our tiptoes, the results can be just as devastating to people's spiritual lives. Every day there is a battle for our mind. Now your daily saving relationship with Jesus is won or lost in your mind. Every day we are bombarded with hundreds of advertisements and influencers that are going all out for our attention. We see them as we read, as we watch TV, as we browse the web and uh, social media, or as we check our email. The Bible says in Proverbs 23, verse 7, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. So I am what I think. What I think about all the time is what I will become. Now, in this day and age, the battle is more than ever for the mind. Every child in Norway, where I, was, where I grew up, play soccer, and I did my share while growing up. And I knew that if a team never got the ball, they would undoubtedly lose the game. They needed the ball, the ball to win the game. Now, I'm not into competitive sports anymore. I think there are better ways to spend one's time. But I do remember one thing from playing soccer as a child. That towards the end of the game, the winning team would always try to eat up the clock by simply being in possession of the ball. If Satan can possess your mind in these last critical moments of time, if he can eat up your time, so to speak, just before Jesus Christ comes back, then he is the winner and you're the loser. The great adversary is in an all out battle to occupy our mind. This is just a thought and I'm very good it the pastor for Three Angels Seventh-day Adventist Church in Wichita, Kansas. Keep your mind fixed on Jesus. Isaiah, Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, whose thoughts are fixed on you. 